can show you the front of it. Right now you've been seeing the back, but this shows you the front of the design. As I turn this, the back will start to be filled out, but I'll keep showing you what I'm doing in the front so that you can see. One of the next thing I'm going to do is start to actually put in some variegated foliage. Basically, it's following the same color because I'm using primarily colors of green and yellow. So definitely this piece of foliage has that. It will actually start to hide some of the mechanics of this. So it's going to go deeper inside of the arrangement. So you can, I'm going to show you one piece of it as it goes in. But it allows to show you to cover up these stems that are kind of throughout the design. It also allows me to put the drape in the side of the arrangement. So I can show you this. So now you can see the triangular point of this. So we have the point here, we have points over here, and they're actually just going to drape out. Some of the flowers will be added over here. So it's pretty much going to be a modified triangle. I also like to put some along the front. These almost look like hosta leaves a little bit, but they're sturdier than hostas would be. So there, now you can start to see how it's working. is these also so now I'm actually starting to add more texture into the design once again continuing to add greenery into it following the shape of the design. Sometimes when you're working with flowers, the stems don't always flat. That's where you want to put them. Sometimes they turn in a direction that you don't want them to turn. So now, you're starting to see that the fact that the arrangement is starting to get fuller, it doesn't look like all sorts of sticks in here. So I'll continue to add more of these, and it just adds dimension and texture to the arrangement. And I'm also doing this on the back of it as well. Now when I set this at the altar, it's going to be pretty close to the altar itself, but it still is to the point that you've got um, a nice covering of the back of the, of the arrangement as well. flower that you don't see all that often. And so this one basically is called, a common name is called coxcomb. It is a garden flower, but it's also one that you can get at a uh, floral, should be at a floral shop, and I got this from the wholesaler. And I chose this one for its color because it pretty much matches the color of the roses that are in here. So it also has a fairly large presence into it, so you're going to see it, and once again, it's going to add texture to the arrangement. I 
didn't get a whole lot of these because I didn't want this to be a predominant flower in the arrangement, but at least I wanted it to have a fairly good presence though. to grow this in her garden in the summertime. I'm not used to seeing it in yellow. Normally I'm seeing it in, um, in reds and oranges. So as I cut flowers off, you know, you'll see me trimming flowers, I gauge as to where I'm going to put this in the arrangement and also the height that it needs to be in. So this one I'm going to try to wedge in more toward the top. Let's see if I can get it. It's going to get trimmed. having odd numbers of, of a, a type of flower in here. 